227B129 aromatic benzene rings, dark matter, big bang, pi electrons while SETI. There's the alien radio signal. Hmm. I did it again. I keep forgetting to put the word formula in my titles. Yeah, so it's a formula. That's what I thought. So, okay, sorry about that. sp2 squared, uh, hybridized planar rings, p orbitals, aromatic ring configuration of atoms, big bang, dark matter, and model data line 22. So line 22, 7B128, zodiacal light cosmic dust contains organic dark matter, big bang, while well, SETI was a previous video. December 9, 2013, the keyword to Google is aromatic ring configuration of atoms and benzene rings comes up. Not sure if this is in the Earth's crust. So my thoughts were there's hydrogen plus carbon plus the two building blocks of the Big Bang Theory plus dark matter. Particles concept I present thanks to the data coming up in the alien radio signal well. So I'm going to Google benzene rings and Earth's crust to see if they exist. So keyword to Google is benzene rings plus inner crust from cosmic dust to organic particles. Quote from the blog, aromacity is in fact a property of the sp squared hybridized planar rings in which the p orbitals, one on each atom, allow cyclic decolization of pi electrons. And that's from chemistry.tutorvista.com, December 9, 2013, my thoughts. P orbitals come up again from the UFO Roswell, Mexico hieroglyphs and now here too. Quote from blog, each atom in, aromatic, in an aromatic ring has a P orbital. These orbitals must be uh, parallel so that a continuous overlap is possible around the ring. The cyclic pi molecular orbital electron cloud formed by overlap P orbitals must contain 4n plus 2 pi electrons where n equals the integer 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. This is known as the Huckel rule. When we apply this rule to benzene, so this is from chemistry.tutorvista.com. That's the link. So formula from the data, December 9th. Atom in aromatic ring, p orbital, parallel, continuous overlap possible around the ring. Cyclic pi molecular orbital electron cloud. Atom cloud formed by overlap of pi orbital. P Pi orbitals, we're supposed to do that. Uh, orbitals. Uh, must contain, actually, I'm going to just put that there. Must contain plus 4n plus 2 pi electrons, where n equals integer 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, plus the Huckel rule. So, the key word to Google is the Huckel rule. Quotes and diagrams are from a blog. I don't know if you can see this picture very well or not. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So, each C is sp2 hyphen. Brightenized and the shows electron and p orbitals there. And cyclopentyl anion has six pi electrons. Okay. Pi electrons lie in p orbitals. Sp2 hybridized atoms have one p orbital each. So if every molecule in the cyclic compound is sp2 hybridized, this means the molecule is fully conjugated as one. Um, p orbital at each atom and the electrons in these p orbitals are the pi electrons. Simple way to know if an atom is sp2 hybridized is to see if it has three attached atoms and no lone pairs of electrons. This video provides a very nice tutorial on how to determine an atom's hybridization. Um, I don't have that video there. Oh, it's a YouTube video. Okay, so maybe I'll blog it on my blog when I do post this information. So in a cyclic hydrocarbon compound with alternating single and double bounds, actually I'm going to just make a note of that, uh, see YouTube video, I'm going to blog it, I'll make a note to myself to blog it when I do that information. In cyclic hydrocarbon compounds with alternating single and double bonds, each carbon is attached to one hydrogen and two other carbons. Therefore, each carbon is sp2 hybridized and has a p orbital. Let's look at our previous example of benzene. Again, this is the same picture. It says each double bond or pi bond always contributes two pi electrons. Benzene has three double bonds, so it has six pi electrons. There's a diagram again. It says an sp2 hybridized atom only has one p orbital, which can only hold two electrons, so we know that one electron pair is in the p orbital, while the other pair is in the sp2 orbital. 
So only one of oxygen's two lone electron pairs are pi electrons. Furan has six electrons, so fulfills the 4n plus 2 rule. And that's from chemwiki.ucdavis.edu. Okay? So the data continues in the next video. Thanks for watching.